totally miss January for making videos, but it's not a bad thing. Uh, I spent the month of January um, taking videos of random things, so that's what I'm sharing today is kind of my hodgepodge of January. I decided for the rest of the year I'm going to make one video a week of what's going on in my workshop. The, the videos may feel a little bit different because I do have some projects coming up that I'm doing, and I need to make sure I'm taking the time to think properly about what I'm doing, um, and not so much on the video taking, but I, I know I'll have moments where I'll share the process with you. So don't think like I'm gonna sit on here and talk the whole time, because I'm really not gonna do that. Um, what's coming up, I'm real excited about. Um, let's see, which one should I pick first? Oh, the first thing that's coming up is Artist Open Studio is in April. That's where I'm going to be opening up my workshop and allowing some everybody to come in. You can come. To, it's at my house, but it's not in my house. You know what I'm saying? And where everything is made and where all the 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 hobby potter things I do are created. So this is that should be fun. I love meeting the people. I had a great time last year. It was my first time doing that last year. And this year I have a little different idea of how I want to do it. Uh, hopefully a lot of people will come by and say hi. Uh, I love talking to people. So hey, come on and chit chat with me. Uh, April 25th and 26th, 2015. It's called the Ar uh, Stanislaus Artist Open Studio Tour. And I'll put a link below to the information for that. Also, in April, from April to June, I'm going to be in a, a show at the Chartreuse Muse called Speech Patterns, and I'm going to share in video some of the pieces that I'm going to be making for that. And also coming up is the Stanislaus Family Justice Center Art Restores Kids uh, program, and I, I did that two years in a row. And what that is is when children create pieces of art to heal their um, their abused children and uh, come from challenging situations in their lives, and they use art to heal them. And they've created pieces and to raise money for um, the uh, Justice Center. They have artists pick a piece, an inspiration piece that a child made, a quote that the child said, and then you go from there and create pieces from it, which is, uh, I already picked my piece out, did that, was that last week already? I did it last uh, Thursday, I think it was last Thursday, or the Thursday before, but I have my piece ready and I'm going to share with you that one that I'm making. Um, yeah, I think that is all that I'm going to share at the beginning here. Here's my hodgepodge of January. Hope you guys enjoy and I will see you next week with a new video. Thanks for watching.
that is it. The hodgepodge of everything that I was doing. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's clip. If you want to see some of the things that I'm doing throughout the week, I will share pictures as I go throughout the week. Go ahead to click, if you go to your Facebook page, Hobby Potter, um, look up Hobby Potter Pottery Making. You know, I think that's the name of it. I'm going to put the link below just because I don't remember the name of my own fan page. They won't let me change it to what I want to make it, so it is what it is. I already have a, um, a thousand people that like it, so I don't want to change anything up. I'm just going to keep it and come on by. It'll be updates of what I'm doing. But hope you guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed today, and we will see you next week with what's going on in my workshop.